Hi, I'm Mike Marr, lead designer for Demigod. In the last video, I showed you the basics with an intro aimed at players who are unfamiliar with the gameplay of Demigod. Today, I want to delve deeper into the game and talk about some of the more complex features. Here I am playing a general, the Queen of Thorns. Now, the big difference between a general and assassin is the number of units you can control. To acquire units as a general, you need to have summoning idols, which can be purchased at the shop like normal equipment. Idols allow you to summon minotaurs, archers, and priests. In addition, each general has access to a special minion that is tied to their skill tree. Generals need to juggle more factors than assassins when making buying decisions, because not only do they have access to all the equipment assassins do, they also have idols to consider. The trick is striking a good balance between gear and minions. Further adding to this balancing act are better idols that summon higher level minions, but are more expensive. To aid in configuring your demigod's loadout, you can sell back items to your shop at a loss. However, this is usually not something you want to do. The same is doubly true for consumables like potions and scrolls, which are powerful one-shot items that can get you ahead of an enemy, but come at a cost of having gold for higher level items later in the game. Getting back to the queen here, her special minions are the shamblers, which are a ranged unit that can be mulched by the queen to regain health and mana. I think of them as walking potions. Now, by default, some of the minions follow your general around and help attack targets you're attacking, or if they're priests, they heal and protect nearby units. However, if you want to take a more active hand in controlling your army, you can select individual minions and order them, just like you would your demigod. This allows you to have your minions guard a specific location or escort an allied demigod, for example. Last week I played a conquest game. Today I'm playing Fortress. In Fortress, my objective is to destroy a specific number of enemy fortresses in strategic locations before they destroy mine. Oh, by the way, it's worth noting that alternate game modes can still be won by destroying the enemy citadel, like in Conquest, but this is a more difficult task due to the citadels being reinforced with additional health. Because I'm playing Fortress, I've chosen and specialized the Queen of Thorns for destroying structures. It's something she's particularly good at compared to other demigods. You may have noticed that I'm playing the Queen very differently than I would an assassin. For example, I've spent a lot of effort using my minions to screen my demigod's movement from the enemy. I often will charge into battle with my minions first, for better visibility in the fog of war, and as a buffer before I commit to an attack. Occasionally, I also use them as skirmishers at my flanks when retreating from enemy demigods and defenses. While there's still a lot more to cover, I hope this helps explain a few deeper concepts in demigod. Thanks for listening.